Greetings DMs, GMs, and players. This is the Insomniac GM. And today I want to talk about another type of magic that you can use in Secrets of Magic for Pathfinder 2nd Edition. I know I said I was going to do a few of these, but I've been um, a little preoccupied with the December season approaching and now it being December. And some of them just seemed a little bit more difficult to put in other games, but I also wasn't looking too deep into doing it. So I'll get to it eventually. But for the Wall of Spring Magic, I am interested in this idea. Um, so the best way to put Wellspring Magic into perspective for 5th um, edition players is essentially the Wild Magic Sorcerer. So with the Wellspring Magic, the it can be any spellcaster. Essentially, it's a character who's just infused with so much magical energy. The book actually explains they recommend you use in it for oracles um but what you do with us is the level of spells the player can cast you subtract one from every level so say you're playing fifth edition and one of the classes can cast a level three spells four times a day you lower that to three times a day um, now, anytime the DM feels it's necessary, or anytime the player rolls initiative, and I believe it's anytime they roll a spell, they got to make a DC6 flat check. So what a flat check is, is you don't add modifiers, you just roll the D20. Now, if you end up rolling a 16 or higher, you temporarily recover an expanded spell slot of any level of your choice. The temporary spell slot lasts for one minute, and if you don't use it by then, you experience an immediate wellspring surge, which we'll get to. If you roll a six or higher, you get the same as the critical success, except you randomly determine the level of spell slot from among among your top three spell levels. Um, the slot lasts three rounds instead of one minute. And then if you roll below a six, you generate a wellspring surge with the spell level chosen randomly among your top three levels of spell slots. Um, so, now the wellspring. We have a chart here. And I'm just going to read off a few random ones to you guys, but you, um, so you got energy unle unleashed. Raw energy deals 2d6 damage per spell slot of the, sur of the surge, basic reflex saving throw or dexterity saving throw, and a 10 foot burst. Um... Anti-magic eruption. The surge attempts to counteract a random spell active on you and on each creature within 10 feet of you. I just picture the paladin having like a, um, a smite charged on their character and you just, bam, wipe it off of them. Uh, okay, sudden downpour. Water cascades... Cascades from above, putting out non-magical fires in a 10-foot burst and attempts to counteract magic fires. Okay. Yeah, so there's a list of them. They do have, like, a few feats you can use for your character with these and that. And the, that's the issue I've been having with the other um, magic types is the feats. Because feats in 5th edition are a lot more rare, so it's kind of harder to 
put that out there for your players. But, um, yeah, so this is the Wellspur and Magic. I may give it a chance with my players sometime. Um, currently, in my Pathfinder 2e game, it really wouldn't work out because I only have one spellcaster in the group and they use it all for summoning their animals like they're playing Pokemon. But in the future, I'll give this a chance because it seems pretty interesting. But tell me in the comments, have you ever used Wellspring Magic? How did it go for you or your game? And if you haven't, how would you implement it in the game? Until next time.